There's the two of them. And I purchased them in 1996. Oh, the, so these are not the ones from before the spotted owl? Yes. Oh, they are? Yes. Uh, this was sold. Now, this was sold to a, to a state, uh, not a state, but uh, a private um, uh, logger. And what he did is he bought these two weeks before they put the moratorium on. No more, uh, no more old growth cutting here, so that he had the rights to cut these down. And we found out about them. There was, um, there was five big ones, all right around 65 feet a piece. And uh, although these logs aren't big enough for a, a, a canoe like you'd like to get, you'd like to have 40 or 80 inches in the center. You know, and uh, uh, you can't be choosy when. Uh, when uh, the, the opportunity comes to get them. And so, as you see, it turned out, it's a very good canoe, although it's quite a bit narrower than the other one. It's like eight inches narrower than the other one. It's still a very, very good canoe. Can, can we maybe walk? So uh, it's hard for me to see it as well if we stay back here. Kay. If we could kind of walk along, and Peter, you're going to be in my shot. What do we talk about? Um, We'll talk about uh, the log to start with. Um, sure. In 1996, uh, I was um, beginning to help Lummi, uh, Lummi uh, Nation with uh, uh, getting started on their canoe project. And uh, one of the meetings, they told me they had an opportunity to buy uh, some logs from a, um, from a I, I think it was a state um, timber sale. And they was made, uh, they was made available to them and so uh, I went out with them and took a look at the logs, and we had no uh, chance of getting any logs ourselves. And uh, it turned out that um, they had too many, um, how would we say, too many um, chiefs and no braves in the, in the canoe committee. And um, as it turned out, uh, they came to me and told me, it looks like we're not going to build one, so uh, you're welcome to buy a couple of them if you want to. They had, they had made it possible for a Canadian to buy one also. And so, man, I ran back to the tribe and told them of our chances and they um, made a check out. And um, I believe we, uh, we sent that down to, uh, to um, uh, down by Oregon. Um, I'm, I'm sure that's Weyerhaeuser, um, Longview, somewhere down in there, uh, their headquarters. And um, I paid for the two logs and they come to, um, uh, four thousand um, seven hundred twenty something dollars for the two of them, and that's just what they would have made uh, by bringing them to the to the mill. And so um, the logs uh, was across the street here. Uh, they brought them down uh, in 1996, and I was just in a little uh, little uh, two car garage across there. Was not my shop and didn't have the facilities to um, to carve them right there. We didn't know where I was going to be, and so. Uh, two years later, they gave me this this place here. They poured some uh, floors in, and um, so uh, we moved the logs over to here, and that was when I started to to do the the canoes. Now, this was your second canoe. This is the second canoe that I've done. Um, the first one was done in 1990, 1988, and 89. Um, the actual project project started in February of uh, 1988, and um, uh, Oliver Reed, uh, Emmett Oliver from uh, Seattle, from the, from the uh, Duwamish, uh, approached the state uh, and thought it would be a good idea to get some uh, a native flotilla. And so uh, the state made it possible for us to get some logs to do uh, do canoes. And so uh, I, uh, I was asked by our tribe to, um, to do this project. And so I told them that I would. And uh, I went up in February in, uh, in um, 1988 and I went to the Darrington Ranger Station. And uh, this friend of mine took me up in the uh, woods. And I didn't know what kind of canoe we was going to do or anything. And, and uh, he said, well, they're, they're picking these out. So, I just chose a couple of logs like uh, the rest of the people. I think there were six uh, tribes that chose logs there. And so uh, in June, we brought our logs down. And, and so I'd done the other one up there by this Arby's that was in town. Um, 
and uh, was completed the next year. Um, it, it took a full year, but uh, Bill Holmes, uh, uh, when I was asked to do the project, I happened to have seen Bill Holmes on Channel 9 doing a, a northern style canoe. I didn't know him. I didn't know of his work, but I knew that he had done a canoe. And so when I was asked to do the project, I told them it would be nice if I could get somebody like Bill Holmes, who has done a canoe, to come by and kind of guide me along or, you know, or give me um, uh, advice on how to do that because I've never done one before. Although I built a lot of ships and stuff, I never built a canoe. And so it just happened that one of the board of directors, uh, who was my cousin, went to the University of Washington and took a, a carving class from Bill Holmes. And he says, I know Bill Holmes, I'll call him. And so the next meeting, um, he told me that um, Bill Holmes said he'd be glad to help us. And uh, I want to emphasize that we truly, truly owe Bill Holmes the gift of these canoes. Although I've done the canoes like that, it would not have been possible without him personally going out and finding out from the old masters how to do this. There are so many steps from, uh, from beginning to end to make it end up in this, in, this, in this shape here. And if you don't have them, it will not came up, come out. And uh, I still, to this day, thank my teacher for uh, giving us this gift. I never, I never ever um, forget to, uh, to praise him whenever we're, we're um, honored by, about our canoes and stuff because of what he's made possible for us. This man wouldn't accept no gas mileage, wouldn't accept anything. And so that what I done know was that uh, when we launched the first canoe, I gave it to him to go ahead and steer, so he got to get in and skipper it. And uh, to this day, uh, I'm still close to Bill, and we kind of work hand in hand. I'm helping Lummy, but Bill also comes in there time to time and gives uh, his thoughts on the project also. And so um, um, I was telling the young man up there this morning that I'm not afraid to call my teacher. You know, uh, you can still learn. You can still learn from your teacher. So I always try to talk to Bill all the time. Now, how did he learn? Uh, he went up and um, visited some of the masters up in Canada and uh, questioned some of the old carvers that were still around. Uh, and, uh, and I believe he's done five canoes or six or seven canoes by now. And so, um, and plus he's such a, a genius anyhow. Um, the first log that we, uh, the, that we did back in 1988 was 550 years old and was uh, 100, uh, 175 feet tall. And it came from the south side of Mount Baker um, on a, a, we'll call it a, a mountain that was called Goldfinger. And it was at the 2,500 foot level. This one was done on the north side of Mount Baker um, on the same, uh, same uh, range, but it was on the northern side of it. And uh, I don't know how high and stuff it was there, but this one, was about 450 years old, and stood about 150 feet high. And um, I can't, uh, it was a little bigger than this one out here, which, you know, and it's only like this. And so it was basically just under five foot tall. Um, uh, a little small for, uh, for what you would like, but um, um, in, this, uh, in this trade, uh, you just, take what the, the, the log will give you. And so as you can see, it turned out to be a very nice canoe. It's got, it's got a good, um, uh, we, we tell the, the flare on the sides here, usually try to keep it at 30 degrees so that it, they'll rock a little bit, they won't tip over. They're, uh, they're very stable. Actually, can um, we stop for a second? We'll go ahead and talk about the sure, parts. So on, on watch, the watch out, because he's going to head this okay. way and I'll, okay. I'll be going with him. Well, um, we were talking about this log here. Now this log, uh, was purchased in uh, 1996 on the north side of uh, Bre uh, Mount Baker National Forest. And um, it was uh, sold by the state to a uh, logging company two weeks before the, the spotted owl decision of no more, uh, no more uh, cutting in uh, old growth forests. And so uh, it was made available for me to buy it uh, by the Lummi Nation. Uh, and uh, so we purchased two logs and um, well we brought them down here in uh, 1996. Uh, we stayed here for uh, across the street for uh, two years before I got my permanent shop here 
And um, this log was uh, 65 feet long, was uh, 